New details in the death of a fire captain in Porterville. We are learning the man who was killed in the fire at a library to the north of us was from Bakersfield. His family speaking out after visiting the site of the fire and paying their respects. Now, as we reported last night, the fire broke out around four in the afternoon at the Porterville City Library. The fire claimed the life of one firefighter and unconfirmed reports say another firefighter is still unaccounted for. The firefighter who has been killed has been identified as 35 year old fire captain Raymond Figueroa. According to friends and colleagues of Figueroa, he graduated from Delano High School and recently moved back to Bakersfield. Another firefighter now identified as 25 year old Patrick Jones is still unaccounted for just yards from where his brother took his final breath. Zach Figueroa and his fiance Sadie paid tribute today to the fallen fire captain. He just not was not my hero. He was everybody else's hero to the city of Porterville, city of Delano, my family, his friends. He was everyone's hero. He's an amazing man, such an amazing man. And an amazing big brother. The Porterville Police Department says two 13 year old boys have been arrested on charges of arson, manslaughter and conspiracy. And today, President Donald Trump, during his visit to Bakersfield, sending his respects to the fallen firefighters, their families and friends. Two brave firemen, as you know, died last night in Porterville. And we just want to pay our respects to them. I heard there were two great people with incredible families, and uh, I just want to pay my respects to their families and friends. That's a tough job. We just met some of the firemen. President Trump added that he respects the position of every firefighter. And as crews continue to sift through heavy debris, search teams have used drones to aid crane operators in their recovery efforts. Bakersfield City Fire is assisting Porterville City Fire Department. They sent an engine to Porterville to help with emergency calls.